Hey guys, welcome to the latest episode of Come Again, where all geek culture collides. We're your hosts. I'm Shannon. Yeah, Billy. This is one of our men behind the camera, on um, for the most part. John's out of town right now, so uh, Billy is kind of subbing for him. Mm. Billy doesn't say much. No, I'm, I'm, I don't like cameras. <laughs> so, <clears throat> not really a whole lot happened this week. Yeah, everybody's yeah. behind because of the World Series, which was amazing. I was. Biting my nail. It was nerve-wracking. I was tired from work the next day. <laughs> I went to bed about 12.30, I think. And I got maybe five hours of sleep. Got up at 6 a.m. to get the kids off to school. Yeah, I had to get up at 5.30 to drive to Springfield. Still work at 12. So. Man. So I had like a 14-hour day yeah. with driving. That sucks. I've, I've been there, and that sucks. It's worth it, though. When I worked in Taylorville, I worked at a call center there. I would have to be at work at 3 in the morning, and i work until min or until noon. As soon as I'd get off work, I'd have to drive all the way to Decatur, pick up the tattoo artist that I was apprenticing under, and go serve my eight-hour apprenticeship. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. We'd close at 10 o'clock at night. I'd drive all the way back. Got three hours of sleep. Man. Yeah, that is, it happens. So not really a whole lot's happened on the CW. Yeah, Arrow, Supergirl, Flash. It had its moments. Even Lucifer and Gotham weren't really. And of course, right now, The Exorcist, Lethal Weapon, uh, MacGyver, and all those are kind of on a short break. Yeah, not which good. are some really good shows if you haven't had a chance. To yeah, check I'm, them out. I'm scared to look at reboots just be, and movies. Made Lethal what TV shows? Those three shows are awesome. Lethal Weapon. My wife and I have to watch it. We have to check that one out. We it cracks us up every time. Uh, the Exorcist. It's not really a reboot. It's actually more of a sequel at. It was revealed in the last episode, which was a couple weeks ago, since it's on a break right now, that it's actually a sequel to the movie, the oh. original movie. Okay. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys to find out how it's a sequel, but it's yeah. it, they don't reveal it until like the last two minutes of the episode. Oh. Yeah. So it really MacGyver is really good, but it's got the CW effect. Oh. They, they okay. have to have that team in there to yeah. kind of. So it doesn't just focus on MacGyver anymore, but he keeps his little bowl of paper clips. That's the fix all. And he do anything with a paper clip. When when they're having their team meetings or whatever, he'll sit there and play with it and make like a broken heart out of it or a phoenix or you know stuff like that. It's a paper clip. But it it does do really good. Pays tribute to the original. So it's not like one of those horrible remakes. Yeah, it, small though. <laughs> yeah. Um, Supergirl, episode 7, season 2. They're getting ready to introduce the Cyborg Superman. That should be cool. Yeah. I'm sticking with the thought that Cyborg Superman is going to be the original Hank Henshaw before Jean Jones took over his yeah. life. I think his mind got transferred into Jeremiah Danvers' body. That'd be cool. Yeah. See Dean Kane yeah. as Superman again, kind of. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. That's oh, what everybody's been waiting for for. Yeah. Because that was, I, that was, in my opinion, the best Superman show that came out yeah. was Lo Lois and Clark. Yeah. I loved that show. It, it was great. I mean, it, it came out at the same time as the Death of Superman storyline yeah. in the comics. You know, you couldn't get a more popular superhero at the time than Superman yeah. because of all the media surrounding it and everything. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know which had more of an outcry, Superman dying or Captain America dying. <laughs> and, of course, at that same time that that came out, Captain America had his own movie as well, mm -hmm. which sucked. Yes. Why? You're Captain America. <laughs> Why would you ride a Kawasaki yeah. and have a clear plastic shield? Ugh. I'm glad you fixed yourself, Marvel. I yeah. really am. Yeah. Well, nothing says bad Marvel movie like Fantastic Four. Which one? The original. Which, which original? The, uh, the one that was released or the one not released? The one that was not released. Oh, see, I've, I've actually watched that one more than... I haven't. I, it's so bad. It's I've good. seen the it's pictures good. and I'm like, no. It's so bad, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you got Howard the Duck. Which... I love Howard the Duck, though. <sighs> it's okay. It's so, it's so, it's one of those that's so bad, it's good. Yeah. 
Agree to disagree. Yeah. <laughs> Game seven. Uh, I got mad when they pulled Hendricks out. Like, why? He was pitching great. He was doing awesome. And the fifth, you pull him and put, why? And Billy knows a lot more about the Cubs at this point for this season than me, simply because I have not watched, I did not watch a single game this season because I was so worried I was going to jinx them. Eh, there's probably a lot of people like that. Yeah. So. Um, so I just, I did not uh, watch anything. Well, what time did you start watching game seven? I watched, I started about halfway through. What was the score? They were up, um, I think it was four to two. Okay, so you're the reason why they they tie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the reason why I didn't end in the ninth inning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to figure out why. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but you know, it was game seven. You know, I, I, I wanted honestly, honestly, I wanted to see a Cubs World Series. <laughs> I honestly thought about getting on Facebook it's like, Shannon, stop watching. <laughs> like, and of course. And of course, I was shaking. I was so worried that if they, if they failed, you guys knew that I would have known I was watching. <laughs> I was going to blame me. <laughs> but uh, no, I, it was a good game. It was a good series. Yeah, I was sweating bullets. Yeah, the fact that they came back from being three, three games down, just amazing. Oh yeah. And then getting tenth inning. Yeah. On the seventh game of the series, that's. In and of itself, yeah. that made history right there because yeah. I don't think that's a yeah uh, happened the, uh, for a long time. I think they're the fourth or fifth team that's done it. So that's came back from three to three to one to to come back and win it, and they're like one of the few teams that actually has a hundred one hundred three game win series throughout the entire season and actually win the World Series. So they had a few things going against them going into it to begin with. Yeah. So what else were we talking about before we started filming? There wasn't really a whole lot. No. Of... Oh, they did reveal the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers yes. and Megazord. Yes, I seen that. Um, it looks cool. It look it'd be I, cooler I, if it was a Transformer. I don't understand. I don't but like. It the doesn't whole... look like the Megazord. I don't like the whole story arc they're using with it though. Yeah. It just I seen a brief trailer for it, and I was like, that's that's not Power Rangers. No, it's not. It's like that looks like they took a bunch of kids and it's like, here, be a ninja. Yeah. It's like remember the stuff you watch on TV? Do that. <laughs> That's basically what they did. Yeah. It's like I've never mean, seen the, the suits, nothing. The Megazord, it looks cool, but it's not the Megazord. No. It looks nothing like the original Megazord. They could have at least paid homage to the no. Megazord, no. maybe updated it a little bit. They're, they basically made big bad beta books, is what yeah. they're making. And it's like, why? Or VR Troopers. <laughs> Which, um, sorry, Billy Forrester, if you're watching this, uh, don't bash on us for mentioning Big Bad Beetleborgs. He's on my friends list and he, uh, he played Flabber. Oh. Yeah. I've I'm been, sorry. I've been trying to get him to, you know. I, I loved the show when I was yeah. a kid. Uh, it, I, it does not stand the test of time. No, it does. It, it's one of those shows that suffer from the Webster effect. Yeah. Um, it, it's like that, was it, Turtles, The Next Mutation? Oh, horrible show. <laughs> horrible just, show. Just another one of those shows, just like, it was awesome when you were a kid. Yeah. Just like, it wasn't even awesome as a kid. It was, mm, bad life choices. The, the <laughs> best episode from that was the crossover with the Power Rangers in space. Yeah. <laughs> Big Bad Beetleborgs, it, it holds up a little bit better than mm. Next Mutation. And VR Troopers and... Yeah. All the this, this spinoffs. Yeah. Beatles at least had cool swords, I yeah. guess. VR Troopers. Mm, that was... That. Yeah. <laughs> Which, fun fact, the guy who played Ryan Steele, the leader of the VR Troopers, played the voice of Treya from Triforia in Power Rangers Zeo, the Gold Ranger. Really? Yeah. So, at least he upgraded. Not yeah. much, because it was Power Rangers Zeo. Yeah. But. Him and Austin St. John do conventions together. Oh, okay. Yeah, since they both played Gold Ranger. Yeah. Jason David Frank was originally supposed to get that part yeah. of Ryan Steele in. But it wasn't VR Troopers at the time. It was Cybertron. Yeah. Copyright infringement. Copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's going on in wrestling, do you know? I've, um, I haven't really watched in a while. Hell in a Cell was last week. Oh, my gosh. They actually did... Three good cell matches. It started off with Reigns and Rusev. Mm -hmm. 
two guys. Rusev can wrestle like no tomorrow. Reigns is just does pretty much like Stone Cold. All he does is punch and kick. Mm. It was actually a really good match. Really? The championship match with Rollins and uh, Owens was a really, really good match. It's like Jericho got involved, and if you want to watch it, just go watch it. I'm not going to tell you the details. But I hear they're tr- they're working towards bringing the shield back together. It would make sense. It really would. Everybody thinks that the, the best Hell in Cell match ever was Mankind and Undertaker. Yeah. Sasha Banks and Charlotte put on an amazing Hell in a Cell match. Yeah. It was so good. And I'm not going to tell you who won because it was, it's that good. Which, did you hear? Undertaker's return to WWE has been revealed. Okay. It's going to be, what, the 500th issue or episode of SmackDown? Oh, okay. Or, one of those record. He's going to come back as American, isn't he? I don't know. Come back out on his motorcycle. That'd be cool. I I actually like the American Badass gimmick. It I mean, wasn't it wasn't that bad, but it, it it was. As long as he didn't go back to the blue jean, I that I don't he like was in when he first appeared as American Badass. Yeah, I don't like this. What they consider Undertaker now It's like that's not Undertaker. Now. No mohawk, no shaved head. It's, He's got to have the long hair. It's, it's not that. It's those gloves. Yeah. It's like you are not a fighter. Quit trying to be a UFC fighter. You are he, not that. Actually, he does train. It. He is a mixed martial artist. But that's not what people want to see with The Undertaker, though. It's like with me, I want him to come back. I would like to see him in the UFC, though, at least in one fight. He would get destroyed. He's so old. I, well, yeah. <laughs> he's, age. He's, old, he's old and broken. If he was in his prime. Oh, in his prime, he would, he would yeah. torture people up. Oh, yeah. But... I want him to come back as the Undertaker, the purple gloves and all. I don't know about that. Like I would like he, to see as his debut in Survivor Series. I would like to see Chains come back as the oh yeah duplicate Undertaker. Yeah, and, and have them go at it one last time. Or just have yeah Chains and Eight Ball and all them just show up. Just have the whole Ministry just show back up. That would be because they uh, whenever well, the Undertaker disbanded the Ministry, he did say he would. He would bring them back at some point. Yeah. It was like, just bring back the ministry. Yeah, a lot of them were fat and overweight in the 90s when they were there. But you know what? <laughs> DDP yoga. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll wait and bring back the ministry of darkness whenever Undertaker's ready to pass the torch. To... Yeah. It'll be the Bray. It's going to be. I hope not. I, I like Bray Wyatt. He's, like o- his... he's okay, but he doesn't have the... He he's not going to be as iconic as the. Undertaker. Oh no, he's not. But they could build him up to be if they wanted to. They really could. No, no, no. Nobody. Nobody's going to hold that torch. So. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like that's. There, there's they, a few people that you can't do that with, like Undertaker, Sting. I think someone gonna... who could have. Um, Taking the torch, it uh, would be Vampiro. Yeah, he could have. Yeah. If he wouldn't have got seriously yeah. injured like he did because he was being stupid and yeah. his. So but they need a gimmick like that. Yeah. And an athlete like that to be able to pass mm-hmm. that iconic well, torch if, onto. They do have somebody they could do that then with. If you want like the size factor and just that kind of personality, would be Baron Corbin. That's the demon, right? The Baron Corbin, the lo- lone wolf. He just came up from NXT during the draft. Okay. See, I never watched NXT. Oh, do you want to watch your miss in? So he wasn't the dude that painted his face mm-hmm. to look like a That's demon? That's Finn Balor. Oh, okay, yeah. That's Finn Balor. Finn Balor is smaller than me. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's um, like a buck 90. And then remember when WCW tried to uh, oh, yeah. pass Dustin Reynolds off as... Their version of Undertaker yeah. called Seven. Yeah. And in his debut, he was like, fuck this shit. Him and Relic and all them. TNA did Relic. <laughs> Which WWE basically owns now. Yeah. I heard about that. But yeah, I haven't watched WWE in months just because I'm getting sick of... They're rehashing 
old storylines. They need to start coming up with new stuff. The main thing I watch it for is the Divas matches. Because no, I, I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize for the women's matches. Because these girls actually wrestle. They did change it back from Divas title to the women's yes. championship. It's like 90% of the women that are in wrestling now came from like England. They came from Shimmer. They came from the independent groups that actually trained women how to wrestle. And it, I love it. My favorite of the female wrestlers was Caitlyn when she was... Really? Caitlyn was fucking hot. Dude. I'm sorry. Caitlyn, what is not to like about Caitlyn? She can't wrestle. Yeah, she could. A lot better than AJ Lee. So? That's when it's still Divas. That's why AJ... I liked AJ. Although AJ did have a nice rack and a nice butt, but yeah, for a twelve-year-old Filipino boy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Punk. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Filter shut off there for a second. I'm so sorry. Bad jokes I've heard. I'm sorry. No, she she did have a nice rack and a nice butt, <laughs> and not for a nine-year-old Filipino. Boy. Wow, you made it even younger. <laughs> <laughs> she looked, she at least a 16 year old. Nice rack for a 16 year old girl. That's legal in Hawaii. <laughs> Nebraska. Arkansas. <laughs> no, that's only with her sister. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> sister or daughter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, like, my favorite woman's wrestler, I, I love. Like, Bailey's always, I've liked her for a long time since NXT, since NXT. Who is your favorite out of all the sports entertainment? Who is your favorite wrestler, period? Oh, wow. Past or present? Mm. From the past would be Kurt Henning. Okay. I love Mr. Perfect. I hate rap. You like Jeff Jarrett? No, that was Kurt Henning. Oh, in WCW. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I'm talking about Mr. Perfect. Kurt Henning in WWE, WWF at the time, yeah. and current, it's there's there's too many. It's like NXT. I my all time favorite, hands down, the Undertaker. Oh uh, yeah, see, a, a lot of people like the Undertaker. Past, present, future, no one will ever match the Undertaker. Yeah, the WWE really missed out with a good storyline they could have told with the Undertaker and Ultimate Warrior. They decided to go the route of them being enemies. Yeah. But, and wasn't that the first uh, casket match? Yeah. Because they, Ultimate Warrior was training with uh, Jake the Snake. See, I think it would have been better if Undertaker and Ultimate Warrior would have become tag team champions. No. Well, see, that was the time when he was by himself. He didn't really I th- need That would have been an awesome team, though. Undertaker's power and Ultimate Warrior's just... Intensity, yeah, that would be an awesome team. They would have shamed the Legion of Doom. Yeah, I mean, there's so many m- moves that they could pull off together. Oh yeah, I mean, especially if the Ultimate Warrior had the you know duster trench coat like he had in WCW. Oh, that, well, I yeah, he was horrible in WCW, but the the way they presented him, yeah, before he actually got into the ring was pretty cool. Yeah. Actually slowed him down. To stop taking so much cocaine. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they really should have teamed Undertaker and Ultimate Warrior up at some point. That would, yeah, that probably would have been, that would have been good for like a few months, but nothing long term. They, <clears throat> I, I think they would have conquered the tag team division. They could have. I would have even liked to see, back when Undertaker was the American Badass... And Hulk Hogan came back to the, uh, WWE. Yeah. I would have loved to see those two team up. Oh, no. That would have been good. I never really, like when Hogan, in Hogan's era, uh, my favorite was Macho Man. Macho King Randy Savage. Yeah, not the Macho King. <laughs> back when King of the Ring wasn't even a pay-per-view. It yeah. Was a, yeah. And it's not now in either yeah, show. No. They need to bring back the King of the Ring. I miss King of the Ring. It was really good. That's something the Undertaker, they never... He, uh, he never got the chance yeah. to. It's a shame. Yeah. I would have loved to see an Undertaker reign as King of the Ring. 
Well, see, I just wish they'd bring back like those types of uh, matches. Yeah. Like, because yes, the World Rumble, you get a guaranteed shot. King of the Ring, you got a shot at the World Championship at mm-hmm. the next pay per view. That's what they need, something like that. So you don't have yeah, like, do. oh, this pluck a name out of a hat and it's like, oh, this is who you're going to fight. Yeah. We're going to try to build something in the next two weeks. That and with this whole PG era I, of WWE. Yeah. It's hard to do stuff. They don't want blood. They don't want a lot of I, I can kind of see it where, you know, they had the Attitude Era, which was rated R. Mm-hmm. They had Ruthless Aggression, which wasn't quite rated R, but it wasn't... It's a strong PG-13. Yeah, PG-13, and then they went to PG. I, I understand they're afraid of things getting old and stagnant. It's, um, it's going to be G, and they'll be like, come out hugging and stuff. It's like, hi. Yeah. Like, thumb war. Ugh, you're going down! <laughs> Ooh, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's where WWE is headed after uh, McMahon Helmsley. Uh, I hope not. But like I said, the, the women's division is my favorite right now, and that's the only reason I still watch it. Yeah, that and NXT is amazing because they basically just do whatever they want. Regal's in charge of it, and he's doing an amazing job getting nice. talent in. Nice. Because you get you got Bobby Roode there now. You got Austin Aries. It's like he's actually going out and getting... Bobby Roode, any relation to Rick? No. Huh. R-O-O-D-E. Oh, okay. He's from Canada. Canada? Yeah, Canada. Oh, and <laughs> Eric Young made his debut at the last... Pay- uh, on NXT. Okay. With Sanity. So... Okay. Uh, they're talking about um, uh, Matt Hardy. Is oh, interest- I hope not. Please don't. Is no. interested in buying TNA. Oh, he's not really going to hurt him, but... <laughs> Well, from WWE, what, please do not bring back the Hardy Boys. Never, no, ever, no, no, ever again. No, no, no. They wouldn't bring back the Hardy Boys. They would bring back Broken Matt Hardy. It, no, please, no. From what I no. hear, the Broken gimmick is really working for him. No. I haven't really watched TNA. I, I've caught maybe a handful of episodes in the entire time. It's, TNA, but, the, only, the only person I would watch from TNA would be uh, EC3. And he's about the only good wrestler they have left. WWE needs to bring back, with everything that's going on politically in the world, now would be the perfect time to bring back the Nation of Domination. Yeah. Um, it'd be the perfect time to bring back DOA, Disciples of Apocalypse, for those of you who are too young to yeah. remember. Right to censor. Yeah. Right to censor would be a good one to bring back, too. I wouldn't have it led by I like Steven, Steven Richards. Rich. I like I, I love Steven Richards. I, I wouldn't make it the way they did before by taking the Godfather and Val Venus and oh, no. Ivory and all. No. Bring, bring in a whole, you know, yeah. just bring back the faction, but with different people. Yeah. Uh, Not ones that were originally for mature audiences. Yes. That, I like the Blue World Order as well. Yeah. Which they could get away with uh, bringing back a new DX too, or yeah. a new New World Order. Um, I just like the Blue World Order, but Blue, yeah. Blue Meanie was one of my favorites in ECW. Him and the Amish Chicken Plucker. <laughs> you know, DX, they've got, well, they had at one point when Hunter and Stephanie were doing the whole uh, authority yeah. storyline with Brian, uh, Daniel Bryan. Daniel, Daniel Bryan. They had a number of wrestlers who would have been good to see as, could join forces as a new DX. Like CM Punk. Yeah. Uh, Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. Daniel Bryan would I saw him more as an outsider, a popular outsider yeah. like Steve Austin type, um, but definitely Dolph Ziggler and CM Punk would have been good to see join forces as a type of DX. Yeah. Bring just have Punk go, bring back some people and you know have the chick magnets again. From ROH, yeah. um, I, I love I love wrestling. I've, Nexus, they... <clears throat> no, no. Nexus seemed like the new blood from WCW. It was... Nexus was horrible. Yeah. If they would have done it a little bit better, I could see them being... It, it's just the fact that when they debuted, they took 12 guys to beat up John Cena. Yeah. That's how weak they were. It yeah. took 12 of them. <laughs> and then, of course, the Nexus went on to... Bad news, bear. I got some bad news see, for you. I, see, I love that gimmick from bad from Barrett. I love it a lot better than King Barrett and then with right with just Barrett. They need to have Wade Barrett announcing 
the 2016 presidential election. There you go. There's, there's your thing. Right <laughs> I got some bad news we're, for you. We're America. screwed either way. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. If you're watching this way, Bear, feel free to come on the show. Yeah. Make a comment. <laughs> I doubt that he's watching it. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love the whole bad news thing. He's like, had his little podium that rose up in the air. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we're, we've actually gotten to a half hour huh? Okay, so far. Um, and we were worried that we weren't going to have anything to talk about. Yeah. Now we're, I'm going to turn the reins over to Billy for a little bit. He's going to talk about the Doctor Strange movie. Stay tuned. <laughs>